In Louisville, Kentucky, they love thoroughbreds who know how to run down the stretch and get to the wire first. And certainly, they've seen plenty of them here. From Johnny Unitas to Lamar Jackson, today, the Louisville Cardinals will try to live up to that legacy. Today, a rank versus rank matchup as a couple of top 25 teams get set to go jaw to jaw. As we'll see, the number 23 team in the country, the Miami Hurricanes, taking on the 20th ranked team in the land, the Louisville Cardinals. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Cardinals will kick it away to start. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So Miami's offense will have the first possession of the game. And there he is, the man, David, that they build this entire attack around. And it's so nice to have a guy that makes everything easy for the people around him. The quarterback plays better because the feature is clear who that is. And we all hold our breath every time this guy touches the football. He's able to take it the distance on any given play. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. He'll pull it on the read. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. They're getting this guy lathered up. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple of carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that run. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Running back searching for a hole. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They're strong and they're scrawled. Defensive tackles, they're scrawled. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad. You tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. And the Canes get enough for the first down. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. The Hurricanes are moving quickly down the field. They'll try the right side. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you, I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense, showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Leaves it with the running back. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Now the eighth play of the opening drive, but this time facing third and long. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the draw play, you know, it's about looking over here, look for pass, and then slipping it in real quick. Defense, too quick getting in the backfield, caging that ball, making it stay in the middle of the field, getting the big TFO. The Canes will call on their punt team. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon.
Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Cardinals offense will take the field for the first time. This matchup on the outside, Jesse, a big play weapon for the offense, a shutdown corner for the D. They say big time players make big plays in big games. So who gets the best of this matchup? That's going to determine the game. Yeah, I mean, such a fun chess match. How much are they on each other during the game? The head to head matchup that everybody wants to see. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the ground with the back. Not much there. They'll give him one to the 14. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Makes the catch. It's Lacey. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. At the 40, there he goes. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. And the Cardinals have it with a first and ten. Might as well give it to him again. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having the pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They go to the ground. Fights off a defender. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. It's a first and 10 from the 42-yard line. Trying to surprise him with the pass. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary, and you saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick, and because of the hit, incomplete pass. Second down after that incompletion. To throw, it's shut. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. When you play zone coverage and you got a wide receiver that's a beast, it becomes very, very difficult. I've got to make sure I play physical and maybe even shade the side of the wide receiver having a lot of success. Now on first down from the 28. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Got some room entered to the goal line. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Louisville. Anytime you've got a successful run play on the ground, you've got to have great blocking up front. The offensive line, receivers, everybody doing their job. And that helped lead to the home run. Ready to try the point after. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner is stopped. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Looking to throw, it's Ward. He's got his man. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And that was a really good job by the defense. Again, keeping everything in front of you in that situation. And now you're rewarded with the third and long. So on this down, we'll see if they bring some pressure or if they lay back and play zone. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw. They'll run the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Lots of good stuff on that play. You slow down the rush, you get a completion, and you move the chains. And most importantly, you're right, you don't force a short yarded situation that you have to get. Nice job, invite that rush up the field. Take advantage of the aggressiveness of the defense. Make the catch, make the run, get the first down. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Martinez on the carry. This running back in the Miami backfield is deadly because of his speed. He's so elusive. You get the feeling like he could score any single time he has the ball. He gives the offense a lot of balance, but he gives them that home run ability, too. And the Hurricanes are moving quickly down the field. The give to the single back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can break. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Give to the running back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the tailback. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle. Man, nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run it up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. Looking downfield, it's Ward. Throws to the wideout. Makes a connection. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Gets it inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line with a pickup of four. That's a really nice play. It's impressive. Once well, first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up and get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. 
got his man quickly. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped a terrific run after the catch. What a weapon these wide receiver screens can be. Not only do you get a convoy blocking, you get dynamic running. When you do this and you show me the threat of throwing this wide receiver screen, it makes me play defense differently. It makes me have more guys out wide, which opens the box inside. So I think it's really smart for coordinators and offenses to continually throw these screens to playmakers. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. They're trying to slam it in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Hurricanes! Well, they started with horrible field position, but ended with perfect field position in the middle of the end zone. It all comes down to execution, Reese. You've got to have guys going out and doing their jobs. You saw the offensive line up front. They were physical. Skill players made it happen with the ball in their hands, and the quarterback really showed command on that last drive. Lining up for the PAT. right down the boulevard. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Lacey. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put it on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He'll try it again. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. The Cardinals decide to punt it away. Makes a move. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. They keep count of their number of explosive plays, and that last one has them set up first and 10 at the 19. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll try the run. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. 
That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Back to pass. It's Ward. Coming after him. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Third and goal from way back there. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. And they can't make the play on third down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback. And they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. And as a holder picks his spot, it'll be a 25-yard attempt. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Here's the handoff. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. Now facing a third and long. To the air, it's shot. Using the quick game. Still running at the 40. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. And the Cardinals will snap it on first and ten. The give on the inside. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run it from the gun. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Just a simple power play. Again, 
not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll try to power their way ahead. Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. The Cardinals are on the move. Power football with the run. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend-don't-break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. The play-action fake. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. I know it's something we take for granted, guys, but the Q did a great job there with the play-action fake. He really took his time and sold it. And that's what froze the linebackers in the second level of the defense to help make that completion a whole lot easier. Pulled down after a pickup of three, balls at the 13. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Keeps it on the bootleg. Trying to get to it. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football and now they face third down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover, but they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Off the play fake. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. Well, the tight end's a guy that's going to have to be able to make plays for this offense in the passing game. That time, QB looking for the big fella. He ran a good route, just couldn't reel it in. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Back to throw. It's Ward. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. And the Canes will bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He's got great speed. And the returner will be knocked down. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. 
Hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down near the goal line, David. But for this quarterback here, just take accountability and ownership and come out here and lead your offense. And move on. Like, we needed points. That's something that we can harp on. We'll watch the tape this week, but now it's time to move on. Let's get another drive going. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. They'll run it from the gun. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. Yeah, and this offense is built behind this guy. I mean, a guy that you can hand the football to consistently and expect positive yards all day long, all game long. Now he's over 100 yards on the day. And the Cardinals getting set on first and 10. Back to throw. It's shut. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Man, this quarterback is living dangerously right now. Obviously, he threw a pick on the last drive. He's trying to complete that throw, but the defender gets a hand on it, tips it up in the air. That's oh no. That is an oh no situation. They're lucky that one hit the ground. The incompletion on first down. Now they face a second and 10 from the 31. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Catch in the middle. It's Brooks. What a tough minded, hard edged run. He gets it to the 24. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. It's complete to the left. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Looking left. Snags it. Goes out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they'll be set up and in great position here. And that's why quarterbacks take their offensive lines out for all-you-can-eat wings. Clean pocket, able to step up, scan the entire field, and pick the open receiver. The Cardinals trying to cash it in on first and goal. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, good call by the defense there. They dialed up blitz into that running play, and the linebacker able to make the stop. They lost ground on first down, now second and goal from the five. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. Relentless, tough running, gets it down to the four. This has been really good for the defense, too. It's kind of a bend-don't-break mentality, right? Really bowing up with your backs against the wall. If you can win this next third down, try to force the opponent into a field goal, that's a win if you're on defense third down has been right in the wheelhouse for this offense two for two on this drive and trying to do it again and score a touchdown yeah and third and short they choose not to run throw the football and i think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range they can take the three points on the board they've decided to try to go for the field goal here from the right hash and this distance makes that angle not quite so severe it's good, and that was dead solid perfect. And that's going to give us a tie ball game. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. 
Low man wins, and he just smashed him. Find some space enough to get five to the 22. And after a successful run like that on first down, if you're the offensive coordinator here, maybe you're thinking about being aggressive and potentially taking a shot, because even if it's incomplete now on second, you only have a short amount of yards to go here on third. They'll keep it on the ground. Smashes through. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, he did everything he could to try to avoid all those defenders, but at the end, it's still a negative play. Tackle for loss. One defender, then the next one. The blitzing guy got a shot at him. Everybody had a shot. It took a while to get him down. Yeah, great effort by that defense. Not quitting on the play. To the air. It's Ward. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back. Defense that close to an interception. Wow, that quarterback is lucky there. If you're going to take a chance like that on third down in your end of the field, you better be right because that should have been picked and returned for a touchdown. This offense is lucky now. They're getting a chance to punt this ball away. And the Canes will punt this one away. <laughs> Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Finds his man. It's Brooks. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off the only or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. On third down, going up top. Stands in and takes the hit. He's got him on the right side. Great job by the receiver to get the foot down. I love when you back the defense off of you. If you want to get aggressive, I'll take shots down the field, make the defense play more conservative, and now what? Now you're in the red zone with a chance to get some points. And the Cardinals will have it first and ten. They're looking to pass from the red zone. He's got his man. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. And that's kind of a lot of today's running game, right? Spit the ball out quick. Get it to your playmakers in space. Get positive yards. It's uh, Instead of running the ball a couple yards up the middle, now you just spit it out wide. And a lot of times, if you break a few tackles, it could be even bigger. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Out of the gun, the inside kid. Pulled down after a pickup of five. They'll mark it at the eight. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You gotta get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was and they stopped him short. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. Right on target the first time. Now he'll try another from 24 yards out. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And with that, they've taken the lead.
After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They'll turn to Martinez. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. With the catch, it's Restrepo. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. Give to the running back. And he is going to lose yardage. Nowhere to run as he is forced out of bounds. Man, I want my running backs to pick those holes and get downhill, but there was no holes. So I just think he did the smart thing and stretched it out and ran out of bounds. In this case, discretion was the better part of valor. It is often underrated to know when the journey is over. Know when to hold them, know when to fold. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Pressure coming. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. The Hurricanes will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. On the move, it's Lacey. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. And now the offense will come onto the field again. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Holds it in. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. Scanning the field, it's shut. Feeling some heat. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And just no hesitation there by the quarterback, right? Primary target not open, so find your check down. Where's my running back? Yeah, I know I'm under pressure, and I know I'm going to get hit, but I'm not taking a sack. I'm going to find a way for us to get a few extra yards here. He's looking for a man on second down. He caught it! He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. You can just see the command this guy has of the offense. He's been picking this defense apart, matriculating the ball down the field. He's now got him in the red zone, close to the goal line. I wouldn't be surprised if they just keep letting him throw it. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. The Cardinals line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. Second and goal coming up. Tries again to get it in. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Offense calls a timeout here, critically important to make sure they have the right play called and everyone on the same page here. Third and goal, where the fire purifies and separates. Con Snagged in the end zone! Touchdown, Cardinal! And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when they're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game day.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they pushed the lead out a little further. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Those are hard for offensive line when they get beat. You're going, no, look out for your blind side. Watch out. But they had a great job rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground, and getting the football out. A little extra bonus. Nice job by the defense getting nasty. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. Back to pass. It's shot. He's got it on the run. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. He wants it all. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals! And how about the offense? They spread them out. Everybody spread wide. Easier to read a defense when you do that. They find the matchup they want, and they get rewarded with the score. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10, and they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They'll leave it with him. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. At the end of the second quarter, that means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a fascinating first two quarters of football in Louisville. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at LN Federal Credit Union Stadium. The Canes will kick it away first and will start the second half. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Wide receiver shows motion. Here's the fly sweep. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, and the number one thing you want to do with a jet sweep is make that thing bounce, right? Don't let it get outside right now. Make that thing go east-west, not north-south. Great job by the defense being ready for that jet sweep. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. To the air, it's shot. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. A third down try for the offense. 
from the gun, wants to pass. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Just beautiful, and that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this, way better than having to trot up over to the bench and wait for your turn to get another shot. He'll come out throwing on first down. Caught over the middle, it's Brooks. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Tackle was made at the 48. It's a pickup of five and enough for the first down. Offensively, and are you going to take four to six every play? Yes, please. Sign me up for that. I'm going to take that every single time. Great job by the offense. Staying patient, staying true to who they are. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. You want to establish yourself. Check, check, check. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. They're setting up the screen. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. I tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. Looking to throw it shut. He's right on target. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. I really like the slot receiver. And I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes. He can run double moves. He does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They'll put the tight end in motion. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And if I'm the running back, I'm going to like, listen, hold on. Can you give me something? Can you give me some space to try to make somebody miss and not have another guy right next to me? I'm giving the offensive line an earful. I need some holes, need some space up front. they got to do a better job. They'll give it to the back. Solid gain to get him out close to the 20. Pick up a five to the 19. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. When you've already set your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great running backs consistently make people miss. And he did a really good job of breaking one tackle, but he couldn't do it to the next, and to the next, and to the next. The offensive line will have to do a lot better job, giving them some more space so he can get out in the open field and make some plays for this offense. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll go right back to the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. 
Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, they're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Tony. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. To the air. It's shot. Unloads to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside, and the toe drag for the big pickup. Love the grab just past the first down line to allow the drive to continue, so that's a nice play by the QB and receiver there. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. The gift to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. They, when those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. On second down, looking to throw. That's caught. It's Bell. He's brought down, solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll try to run for it. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Maybe that stop shows this defense is tightening up, especially in the run game. The offense, frankly, they've been able to do whatever they want to do. They're just handing the ball off. This guy's having success left and right. No sir, no moss. Get it together. And the Cardinals will line up to punt it away. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Fires to the right. Complete downfield. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. You got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. The give from the gun. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Grabbed over the middle, it's George. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. And the Hurricanes have it with a first and ten. Wide out in motion. The give to the running back from the shotgun. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Right back to it. 
A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Fires to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. we got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. And the Canes send out the punt unit. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking for a man. It's Shuck. He's got his man. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. That wide receiver on the outside is dangerous. When you're playing zone coverage, it's really hard because you're not chasing him. You can't really get hands on him. You got to make sure you send more guys his direction. Maybe slide those linebackers toward that wide receiver so you got a little more help on the outside. Now on first and 10 from the 26. Fires to the big fella. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. So surprised. We have not been calling this guy's name more. He's one of the best tight ends in the country. But give the defense credit. They have had an outstanding game plan limiting him so far. That's only his second catch of the game. Looking at a second and short now. They'll leave it with the lone back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Nice play by the defense, but now is a time they've got to be more consistent. They allowed this running back to go off in that first half, and moving forward now, they've got to try and take this running back away. Lining up to convert third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it on the outside, it's Lacey. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I don't think he was the primary receiver on that play, David, but a very productive pickup on first down. And these tight ends are so good at understanding zones and where to sit down. And, and listen, it's not the huge gain down the field, but it's always death by a thousand cuts, small gains, break tackles, and continue to move the sticks. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. On first down, here comes this offense. Use the play fake, now to throw. And the pass is incomplete, but it might not matter. Flag is down, and it looked as if the defense was roughing up that receiver. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referees caught it. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. The offense comes back out with a new set of downs after the penalty. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Fast motion from the offense. 
handoff to the single running back. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. A shot toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. The official says no good. So, guys, a missed opportunity to expand the lead, but still a 17-point cushion. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. The offense came into this game knowing that for them to win, they were going to have to make some big plays throwing the football. That just has not been the case. Here in the fourth quarter, they've been held to less than 200 passing yards, and that's really the story of the game, guys. Looking for a man. It's Ward. He makes the connection. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Got it in the middle, it's Martinez. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and 10. The quick feet, the acceleration, the vision, and he works his way to the 44. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and lead the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. On second down, he's looking downfield, and they can't make the connection. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Looking to throw it again. Let's it fly deep downfield. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. The completion well past the sticks. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Now on second down after the incompletion. Looking to throw, it's Ward. 
He's got him in the flat. And he has run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And that's the danger. When you've got a receiver like that, if you blitz and you're playing man coverage, he's one-on-one, -on -one and he's going to burn you if you don't get home to the quarterback. And the Canes will line it up on first and ten. Quick completion to the right. Touchdown, Miami! What a catch and run for six. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you could tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. After the misfire, it's second and ten. Looking downfield, it's shot quickly to the tight end. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab on the left. Deep to shallow. That's what I have to understand that as a defensive guy. I take away those passes beyond the sticks, and then I react to those quick throws they have to the running back. It's my athlete versus yours. The defense won that battle. The Cardinals will try to pin them back with the punt. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll call for the fair catch here. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the gun. Give on the inside. And that ball is live in the backfield. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Touchdown, Louisville! And the defense doing work. You know, the defense is all about stopping teams, but when you have a chance to swing momentum, scoop it and score yourself, it is such a huge play. Man, you just go to the offense like, bro, we don't need you to do that. We got this. We'll, we'll, we'll score ourselves if we have to. Great job by the defense doing what they need to do, and then go talk a little trash to the offense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. They're lining up to kick it away, and that defense salivating after getting the scoop and score. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. 
And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. He wants to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Arroyo. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. Wants to throw. It's Ward. Pocket starts to collapse. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And I tell you what, this defense, they've heard all about how great this quarterback is. They came in today with a mission, with a purpose. They've been flying around, harassing him, and making life so hard on this offense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. He hurls one deep down the left side. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. The Hurricanes will send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. On the return, it's Lacey. Little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The give to the back. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? Hands it off. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. And that is textbook instructional video out of bounds right around the goal line out of the gun they'll run it inside they bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one well the offense is just trying to get the run game going here backed up just to give themselves an opportunity to operate but they're not physical enough up front that running back lucky that wasn't a safety going down at the one yard line didn't get much done on that first play of the drive it's second and 11. They'll go to the ground, lighting off the defender. Little bit of running room as he picks up four and gets it out to the five. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Getting some heat. Pressure's there, and he lets it go. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. A fair catch is made right at the 50. Great field position for the offense. Running back searching for a hole. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. 
It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easier. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. And now on third down after that last run. They want that clock to run. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Leaves it with the running back. Miles ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Trying to get the edge on the toss. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 30 to the 29. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he drops the throw. Looking for the end zone. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. Between the uprights, it's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. And here's the return. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Pulls it in. It's Brown. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out route. The Canes pick up the first down. Precision execution and timing to pick up the first down on the out route. I think you're spot on. Th those out routes, man, it's got to be about timing. you got to throw that football before he breaks. Nice job seeing it. Short yard situation, throwing the ball on the money so the receiver can get upfield and get the first down. Dropping back, it's Ward. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Looking to pass on second down. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Oh, picked off. Didn't get a ton on the return, but the most important thing, he got the ball, and they've got it at the 48. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. 
First down here for the offense. Quarterback will take a knee. The defense can stop it one more time, but we are close to being all she wrote. 